Welcome back to Motorsport Manager. The desperate struggle continues. We've got three races, effectively four, with the end race being double points. And we've got to win about ten and a half points a race in that stretch in order to catch Jackie Chan. We are back up to second, but still a lot of work to do. One little sort of housekeeping note, I'm going to be fast forwarding through a few more parts, stuff like hiring pit crew and doing car improvements, and then I'll explain what I've done after the fact. I'm just trying to get rid of more uh, space that's sort of repetitive. Strategically, we are done developing parts. The gearbox is finished. We're going to save up money for the off season in case we don't succeed, probably, and then also work on maxing out the parts that we currently have both for next year's development if we need it and also for the purpose of you know trying to do the best we can at the end of this season we did bring in a couple new people here one is the kaiser 15 only on the tires but a 20 in refueling we've got uh, crespin a little bit worn out some other people we need to get a replacement out there that would help with that. Also brought in Odin here as a rear jack or front jack person rather, but we don't need him quite out there yet. We didn't have a backup in that spot. Of course, we've got more recovery here coming with Vivar and some of the others a little bit worn out. So all of that ends with our pit time being slightly slower than it was, and we're still second overall. Well, here's our lovely little dilemma that we had come up. Vivian Kezthelyi constantly on her phone, disturbing us when we're working on his car. Can you please tell her to stop doing it, lead designer? We can fine her and hit her morale by 25. We can just tell her to stop. Only takes a lesser morale hit. And tell him to deal with it. Her morale is fine and the mechanical relationship goes down. I think it's a reasonable request and her morale is really high. It's maxed out, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's see if that lowers it at all. Yep, it's going to lower it some, but she's still looking really good. I think we're going to be fine there. Well, let's take a look at our reports on Dubai. First of all, down here, we got the four-mile, two-minute track. It's always dry. Rear wings are the key. And that's what we focused on here. The engine and the brakes are crucial parts. The rear wing is the only crucial part that's not spec. So it was an easy choice on what to work on improving. So that's going to be fantastic for us. And then the re race gossip can't make up its mind. Um, Jackie Chan, DC, are expected to perform very well this weekend. Andre Lauderer, who's one of the Chan drivers, the one that beat us last time, we don't really have a great car for Dubai, and Jackie Chan are likely to struggle this weekend. So, which is it? Like, <laughs> they, they like the track? They don't like the track. You know, you just have to see how that works itself out. Now, here's what we're doing in the factory. Um, we've got everything up to 90% except for the new gearboxes. Very slowly working those up. And you can see we've got the rear wings here. And they're very tight to being finished. I'm now going to switch and also add in the number one nose and gearbox. And I want what I want to do is I want to boost so that we have one max part of everything. But we got the rear wings almost to the very peak of what they can do. And now our gearbox is still not great. Our car overall is still third. But we've got, and nose, the Toyota improved their nose. That shouldn't affect this race too much. They're definitely ahead of us there. But we moved ahead of Rebellion and everybody else when it comes to the rear wing. And Jackie Chan is down pretty low on the rear wing. So the fact that that's a crucial part for Dubai, I'm hoping that's really going to help us get one of the races that we need to nail here. Because obviously we need a huge result. 
So it's actually not going to be that warm for Dubai in the mid-20s. So I'm probably going to look at softs to start, and then we'll see how that works. But let's just take a look at what they think of us. 5th and 10th, a little bit better than before. We're definitely going to want to do better than that. We'll go with the soft tires and see if that's going to work for us this weekend. Well, it's race time in Dubai. I was hoping to potentially compete for the pole here, but that did not happen. Mix of teams ahead of us, but Toyota did really well claiming the top two spots. We were about a half a second off the pace. So a uh, dry race expected, and we're going to be having to just make sure all of our margins are great in order to try to pull this off. Now here's the first car by Jackie Chan, looking pretty strong there in third position. We're here in fifth, very average form. And then also down in seventh, a little bit above average there. And there's the second Jackie Chan car looking pretty good. So definitely looks like we have our work cut out for us. That's for sure. Now we are going with super soft tires. Looks like they're going to have enough to handle the distance but not by a huge amount in keeping with the need to do well on the margins uh, as we head off here i'm going with just over half a tank of fuel 22 laps i gave negrau 24 because of his whole rogue concept and let's see how this rolls we're gonna need everything we can get in this race it's a long track, about two minutes a lap. And we're going, of course, neutral and just trying to leg out some sort of victory here over the rest of the field. Negrau is now our top driver. And we're pretty much holding in the middle of the pack, it would seem. So I'm curious to see how the tires go, and Mueller now is going to give us some speed. Grau locking up. Fourth and fifth, though, a reasonably good start for us. And Grau nearing the end of his cycle path run no there we go we'll go neutral and conserve for now okay so fourth and fifth out of the beginning here got a handful of laps in Negrau running at 8. Mueller is down to 5.0. And yeah, we're going through that fuel pretty quickly. What's our our sort of times showing here yeah two minutes a lap I just feel like we shouldn't be going through the fuel quite that fast hoping we don't have to do any sort of early pit here Fifth and eighth, and now Mueller is out of the uh, fired up zone. Actually didn't use much extra fuel with McGraw. Whoa, 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 hold on, okay. Neutral is gradually raising the tire temps, so we'll go with that. I let that go too long.
sixth and seventh. I mean, we're we're middle of the pack here. Let's just take a quick look at the standing so we can cry. Okay, we would be ahead. Like, Toyota's kicking butt, which is unfortunate. I don't want to fall behind them. But if we lose some ground to them and catch up more on Jackie Chan, that's still probably okay for us. So we would be... Like, us and SMP basically competing for second behind Toyota, who's running away with it. No, no, no. Don't go there. I'm going to need to be more precise here. Less than 10 laps of fuel remaining. We should be a little over halfway through this particular stint in terms of time. We're definitely going to have to burn some extra hybrid. I think I undershot the fuel sum here. But I don't want to do it yet. Obviously, we want to burn that fuel down as much as we can and need to. Let's see, 43%, 49% on the tires. The tires, I think, are going to make it, but they're not doing quite as well as expected. Let me slow this down, take a better look at our weather. It is 24, holding at 24. And we're 6th and 7th and continuing to fade compared to the leaders. None of that is really good for us. Got a little bit low there. But only four laps left for Mueller as we get close to the sort of halfway point here. And Negrau's tires are now becoming a problem. We definitely want to keep the tires going as long as we can. And let's slow down here a bit now due to fuel concerns. Switch to hybrid at, uh, we'll go with the two lap mark here, I think. There we go. See what more we can get out of this with Mueller. The Growl can leg this out a bit more. Almost at the one hour mark, but I think this is going to be a tough race. 25 seconds behind, even as low as we're running that fuel. On the other hand, some of the other cars have had to pit early. But not the ones we're running behind. And obviously, 6th and 7th is just... Overall, I'm not going to cut it. So I think we probably want to pump up the fuel just a bit. Not a lot. But pump it up a little bit. And these cars going on softs, you know, I wonder if we can, if we can run with all uh, supers all the way through. If we can make these stints, time them out just right, that's going to be very helpful. Got to get around a couple more laps or so. We can start thinking about coming in. Nope. Negrau is not doing great uh, with those tires, but 
we're going to have to, you know, leave them out there and just grind through it. Maybe pit him just a tad early? I don't know. fourth and fifth now but and that's due to some of the cars coming in so we'll have to wait and see we're close enough together now I think, yeah, here. One more lap for Muller. And I think I want Negrau to come in now. Yeah, we'll switch to Ludwig. Switch to new tires. And then we're going to definitely... We're going to boost the fuel a little bit. I'm going to go to 24. I was just a little bit too aggressive there. I'm going to stick with the balanced approach. And yeah, we're going to be wearing the tires low to do this. We could switch to softs anytime we want. And Mueller is just barely going to get there. Yeah. We'll go to harvest. You're just barely going to get home. So we're going to switch to, boy, Goddard or Van Hoor? And that's sort of six of one, half dozen of the other, but I'm going to go with Goddard. And we have a screw up right away. Nine seconds. Good grief. Okay. Well, nothing wrong with that stop. And some of the others over here still have not stopped. Which is probably not the best move on their part. Okay. Let's speed this up. I do not like the way that Dubai is going so far. But there's, as always, a long way to go. We're going to hope for some good luck. Goddard racing reasonably well. Ludwig better than that. One team left to pit. We are not, we are not doing well enough. That is quite obvious here. 
Maybe we just don't have what it takes this year. I was fairly hopeful about this race because rear wings are the top part. We're number one in that. So our car is actually a little bit better than you know, the competition in general. But it's, it's not happening for us right now. No question there. Sixth and eleventh. Yeah, and right now Jackie Chan's jumped ahead of us thanks to that pit mistake. Um, matter of fact, we're running fifth out of the six teams here. So that clearly will not be good enough. Goddard trying to get a spot and does. Moves up to fifth. That's something. Ludwig is 20 seconds further back. Not looking like that's going to change anytime immediately soon. Tires are getting warm. Sticking at 24. It is going to drop the temperature soon, so that'll help. Help everybody, though, not just us. But we definitely don't want to bake the tires with as much trouble as we're having getting them through the laps. Goddard is holding strong in fifth. Ran a little bit extra hybrid there, and it's probably time to go conserve for a bit. Wow, okay, that went down fast. So it's just a bit of conserve, and then back to neutral we go. Third of the way through the race, fifth and 11th. We need some luck here. There's absolutely no two ways about that. We need some luck. We got her just barely holding on to that position. So we've got about 20 minutes left in this stint. The tires in the 30s percentage wise. And here goes Ludwig in the zone, but also dead last in the race. Yep. Has moved up to 11th now. But we're going to be getting those tire warnings.
Okay. Let's slow this up. Harvest. Harvest. I think we went a little bit high on the fuel this time. So I'm going to back it back off to the 21-22 level. And let's see. We need... I think we need... Is Ludwig want to come in this time or... Next lap. Next lap, Ludwig, and then the one after that. So, let's be up to Kazthelyi next. I'm going to go 21 laps of fuel. Got it to wait around another lap. Because we had a fair bit extra going with uh, 24. And then we'll go switch to Van Hoor. And same thing here. We need some good work in the pits, fellas. Above all, don't give us another mistake with car number two. Because Thelly is not driving well, so that's going to hurt us. There's a good stop. Less than 40 seconds. And out you are. Let's see how the first team does. Also under 40. Well, I can't complain about that set of work there. And we're the first group to come in for the second stop. Interesting, because we did it pretty much right on time. The other ones, yeah, they're trying to stay out there longer on those tires. Okay, I think we're winning that exchange, but the question is, are we winning it by enough? Is it going to matter? Let's wait and see until everybody else comes in, and then we'll take another gander at where we're really sitting. Has Thalia done with her good section? So all of our fired up for this current stint is done. Looks like we're holding really steady now on the tire temperature, given that it's gotten just a bit cooler out there, down to 23. So it looks like 23 is the spot for our current abilities of this chassis and these super soft tires. And more cars coming in.
So far, this is a very smooth stint for us. Let's see how much that's actually going to even matter. Yeah, the, everything's holding pretty even. I want to keep running it like it is. Fourth up here, but still 11th back here. And you see, like, Castelli not that far off a couple more positions. But right now, we don't have it. And, you know, four and a half, not the best form. Van Hoor at 6-1, doing a little bit better job. And if anything, um, you know, I think I was pretty close on the field. Might have put even a little bit too much again. We're still waiting on one car to come in that we may very well pass here when they do. There we go. Let's see what happens. We do pass. So, third and 11th. Okay, so where does that leave us? 15 points. Beating Jackie Chan by one, which is not good enough. Toyota takes the second place. And, you know, bottom line is we need a better performance here. Uh, we need Castelli to pick up some ground on some of these teams. And even without that nine-second delay, I mean, this nine, ten-second error would, would still be up around ninth, and that wouldn't be good enough. So either car number two rallies or we're in trouble, I think, because no matter how far up we push here, I mean, it'd be nice to get up another spot to second. That's probably very doable. First doesn't look doable. So, yeah, I, I, I don't see any other way around this. We've got to get better performance. Car number two, Laurent, been given a drive-through penalty. Who is that? Who are you driving for? Rebellion Racing. In other words, we don't really care. In fact, that might hurt us. Lower energy is here. Does move Castelli up to... Or no, it doesn't. Castelli passed somebody else. Castelli now up to 10th. So that gives us some points. Now we're even with Jackie Chan for the race in second place. And we've got about less than 20 minutes now in this stint. We're over halfway through. Moving up to second. That's a big spot to get. Uh, was a big spot to get. But if we can maintain that, that would really help. Because Thelie tires getting worn down. We've only got about 10, 12 minutes to go, though. Van Hoor battling for that second position is really going to be big. We've got to like our odds of getting it eventually. Yeah, we know. We know, Castelli, but you've got to... You know what? I'm just going to go to conserve for a bit because you've got to leg this out. There's just no other way around it. Just stop wearing them as much, but uh, yeah, and then drops to 11th. But I mean, what choice is there? Both cars going to go on hybrid for now. I think 21 was a bit low. I'm going to go back up to 22 laps of fuel. And okay, let's make sure we at least get the full distance here. Castelli 11th. 
Just went past the starting line. Okay, we're going to want you to come in. Boy, nobody driving well on this team. It's just not happening. I am going to switch to Negrau here. And given how much you're burning the tires, I'm not sure if I even want to go softs. Either that or go supers, and I can serve them as much as I can. I'm not sure which one is better, but since I picked the super bonus to start the race, I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go with 23 laps for you. balanced again I may go try to go with a fast pit stop later I may take that risk if I feel like it's absolutely necessary gonna stay away from it for now okay then Van Hoor will stay out there for an additional lap let's just go conserve for a bit Yeah, we're extremely aware of that, buddy. Castelli in 11th, coming in. You did not have a good day. Well like to go to Goddard, but isn't really got the rest, so we've got to go to Mueller. Forty and a half seconds there, good stop. Then you'll go do whatever. Mm. Mueller at 4.0 as well. We are just not, I mean, a couple more good stops, but we're not where we need to be in terms of getting the performance. at the back of the field as the others are not coming in yet. McGraw went wide. I know what happened. You're an idiot. Okay, just over two hours. Go conserve. And under the two-hour mark now, 
matching our energies. Starting to get some other stops. You can see they're way ahead of us. Now we're going to have to go neutral. Muller is picking it up some. And now again, starting to move up through the field as the pit stops happen. Seventh now. So half of a stint remaining for our current drivers. Yes, there's the warning on the growl. But we're in some serious trouble here in Dubai, and it looks like this is going to be the sort of the crushing blow for our year. It takes something fairly dramatic to pull us out of this, I think. I think Mueller is going to get back up to third, but that's it. And, you know, that's just not going to be good enough. The Grau in tenth. But, you know, about that, that ten second gap keeping us from getting more. Twenty minutes left in the car. Mueller continuing to do better. Negrao is not. Up to ninth. So, I mean, that, that's continued progress. It's just not enough. Okay, and here you can see Mueller is in fourth, but could, should take third and could eventually take second, potentially. McGraw's tires starting to go away with about another 15 minutes that I got to keep him out there. And now Mueller's. Mueller will actually be the one coming in first, though. There's our third place. But it looks like we're going to be stuck with third. It, I mean at the rate things are now. Okay, let's slow this down. Let's go conserve on Mueller. Can't really do that with Negrau. Just gotta try to ride it out. Third and eighth. If Even if we could hold that. Yeah, we're actually behind Jackie Chan by a few points. So like the top three now separating from each other later in the race. And again, we just were not good enough. We're not doing terrible, we're just not quite there. Up 
to 7th. Wow. So if we held that, still not quite up to Jackie Chan. So the points continuing to concentrate among the top teams. And, you know, we just don't have what it takes here. Okay, so Muller. We're going to get one more lap. Well, hold on. What's the gap here? Yeah, I can do them both the same lap. So Muller will go first after this lap is complete. And then we'll send the growl. Well, Goddard, you're looking good. Let's see what you can do. And I don't see any reason not to go for broke here. Let's see. We're going to go with 19 laps. Go with 19 right on the button. And it's a significant risk, but we're going to go for the fast pit stops. Because what do we have to lose? I don't think we have anything to lose. Ludwig, you're up. Fresh tires. 19. And fast. All right. Well, let's see what we end up with. Well, they pulled it off. Good job, pit crew. Let's see if it matters. Wow, about a 30% failure chance and we go two for two. There's some luck. Just over an hour to go. Let's speed this along. Both drivers are going to make it to the finish line. And, you know, Goddard is in sixth here. Doesn't have nearly as many cars to pass. Is driving well at 7.8. Ludwig solid at 5.3. So we'll probably get some points there, but it'd be interesting to see how high Goddard can get. Can we get back up to second? No. Good grief. So always when I pause to consider the standings and the consequences that stuff like that happens. Last hour of racing here in Dubai. Goddard slipping a bit. Ludwig getting slightly better. Now we're going to see Goddard try to make up some distance. I think we're just waiting on those other pit stops for sure at this point. Up to 10th now. We got up to 8th before. 5th and 10th. Engine condition low. Well, piffle. 
45 minutes to go. We're just going to ride with it. We won't go aggressive, but we're not going to back it off either. Got it up to third with another pit stop. Eight point two. Driving well. But a big, big distance gap to the top two here. Ludwig up to ninth. Creeping back up through the field. Here comes another pit stop. Is that going to get us eighth? It does. Third and eighth. There's our driving time warning. Yep, we're right there with Jackie Chan. Which, of course, is not nearly good enough. And losing a truckload of points to Toyota. Up to 7th. 3rd and 7th. That still isn't enough to catch him. And it really looks like we're going to be stuck where we are. It's all the pit stops. I mean, maybe we can make this catch, but unlikely. Their tires are a lot fresher than ours. We'll see. I mean, Ludwig will get that speed, you know, fired up boost possibly near the end of the race. Less than half an hour. If we want to take this down to maybe one and a half laps, I don't know. Less than 20 minutes to go. We can go with one and three quarters laps, I think. Ludwig has about a lap more fuel. Yeah, it's going to be all Goddard can do to hang on to his position. Nope. How about it? Oh my goodness, your engine's almost dead. I guess we go low. I mean, if we lose the engine completely, it's got the same stamina or, you know, reliability as this one did. Start the race. And I'm just going to hope that it lasts. It might well not. To heck with it. Well, there's a uh, car pitting to repair, so at least it's not just us. Um, I think we're pretty much stuck on hybrid now for the rest of the race with Goddard. Something close to it. Ten minutes. Third and sixth. I mean, that'll get us a point. But, you know... Who cares about a point? And the tire is getting worn. could use speed burst at the end here with Ludwig, but I mean, what? I don't, I don't even know what point that would have. Yep, low fuel, we know. That's why you're on hybrid. Let's go ahead and switch there.
Goddard slips to fourth. And we don't have the fuel to do anything about it. Ludwig staying in sixth. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the line for Alpine Matmut in the 2022 season. It was only a desperate hope for the last couple races, and we didn't even fulfill that. We are competitive with the other top teams, Toyota and Jackie Chan, but it's one thing to be competitive, it's another thing to be able to win, and clearly, that is not our role here. Okay, second place for those drivers. Yep, so we slipped back behind Toyota. So we're third, but a fairly distant third. And now, you know, there's really no chance anymore at this point of beating Jackie Chan. So we're going to set our sights on next year. Going forward, going to do fairly conservative strategy in terms of what our results are here. Good driving by Goddard. And just make sure we do the best we can to set ourselves up for 2023, because clearly we're still going to be in the endurance set. Not a good race by Castelli. Not great for Negrau. I mean, solid for Ludwig, but everybody, everybody below their season average for car number two. And of course, when you're in a desperate situation, you really can't afford to have that happen. And their result, well, it's showing in their morale hit. We do get the bonus money. We certainly need that bonus money. Try to save up as much as possible for the off-season spending. Our car is still third, although it's significantly above average now. It's still better than Jackie Chan's. But, you know, the drivers for the other teams are better than ours, and that really seems to be having a big impact here. So, two races left in the year. We'll head off to Phoenix. But it no longer matters too much how well we do there. It's all about the future now. We'll continue building for next year when I return. Thanks for watching, everybody. More Motorsport Manager coming up.